Are you curious why new stock has recently dipped? In this video, I break it down into what exactly has happened and whether you should really panic about it, especially if you're a long-term investor in new. Welcome back to the channel, fellow investor. With the recent price action moving down, up and then finally down again to nearly $41. New obviously has a very funny situation going on here because it was supposed to be on the uptrend. Well, that's until two recent news that have affected it that came in. So I thought it is really important for me to talk about it and address this issue for you. Let me start with the sillier news and then we can move on to the better ones. So earlier Market Watch reported on Friday that new shareholders had filed to sell shares. Now, in general, this selling is never a good thing because it changes the valuation and near-term sentiment of new. Well, except that none of that is true because that title was meant to be for Nikola Stock. So at this point, I'm amused by how ridiculous of a mistake Market Watch can make. The point is, it did affect it and what's even more funnier is the fact that some of the people have actually sold their shares because of this mistake. Ridiculous, but well, I guess that's life. Now moving on to the slightly better ones. You see, investors have been on some sort of cautious mode on Chinese stocks thanks to the fears of a regulatory crackdown. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Starting with Alibaba to Didi to the most recent one in the two US listed Chinese education stocks. That includes no longer allowing them to raise cash through stock listings and foreign investment. Now the main question is, will it ever affect NIO? Well, at least not for now. According to Deutsche Bank analyst Edison Yu's team, they argued that in the midst of China's crackdown, it will not affect NIO. The reason is because China EV stocks are emerging as one of the most reliable and safe circular growth sector. They further added that NIO has strong government support at both the central and local level as they create manufacturing jobs, promoting a cleaner environment and a desire for exports to foreign markets. It is all this element added together that I think it's very evident that EV is currently one of the untouchable industries. Think about it, if China has the ambition to lead the global race to EVs and autonomous cars, do you think that they will impose all this restriction on NIO to jeopardize their plan? Again, I think the answer is very obvious. It's like telling all the Chinese EV company that, you know what, we don't care or even plan to lead the global race for electric and autonomous vehicle across the entire value chain. For that reason, I really do not see it happening. Now, to iterate on my bold thesis, NIO is the only EV company that I know of that has not only clear backing from the Chinese government, they have one of the best technology, quality products, and CEO that are willing to put all their stakes into it. It's kind of like Elon Musk to Tesla, and that really speaks a lot. NIO has a lot of catalysts ahead, they are growing at a rapid rate, vehicle delivery numbers have remained strong despite the global chip shortage, ET7 coming up in 2022. They just announced that it had started exporting vehicles to Norway, which is important. So as long as NIO can continue to deliver, which I think they will, I think they have the potential to be a trillion dollar market cap company. Overall, to end this video, the fear of the unknown is what worries US investors. And honestly, no one can really predict what's gonna happen next. But I think I have made a legit point. And as for now, I just don't see it, any of what I mentioned earlier happening for now. Ultimately, I think there are not many other companies out there that are like NIO. Though I must say that I do not expect NIO's journey to be easy. So if you can tolerate the volatility and have patience, I think you will likely be rewarded massively. Well, that's all I have for this video. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Till next time.